Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Jonathan Evans. He is the founder and director of Total Data Center Solutions. They are a leader in end-to-end -end data center consultancy. Thank you. Yes, welcome, Jonathan. Thank uh, you. Not too far here from London. No. Uh, we're here in France, the south of France, for Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. Uh, so it's a pleasure to have you on JSA TV. Thank you very much for inviting me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's an honor. So tell us a little bit more about some of the services that you provide, uh, specifically around site selection. And right now, what are some of the most important considerations when choosing a data center location? Well, um, I, I've been in the Nordic since 2012, so I was a little bit ahead of the game when I came to the Nordics in the first place. And... Uh, Site selection was very important in those days because we're trying to reuse the heat from yeah. the data centers, and that's a, that's a major criteria for us. Um, we we specialize in helping companies enter the data center market, wanting to become co-location companies. So we've been involved in some of the earliest uh, projects for in Norway uh, at, at Green Mountain and an eco data center, okay. and, and we've been involved in uh, data centers in Ireland, in Luxembourg, and other places as well. But site selection is key when it comes to reusing the heat and the energy that you have running the data center, of course. Yeah, definitely a critical consideration uh, when choosing a site selection there. So I know that a big thing that you do also is discussing some of those emerging markets with your clients. Uh, what emerging markets are you seeing in 2024? What are some of the top ones? Well, I think I've just been to Estonia, okay. <laughs> to, to Tallinn. Now, whether that's going to be an emerging market, maybe not for a little while until things calm down. Um, I, I might be doing some work in Poland. I think that could be a very interesting market. We're working in Helsinki as well, but Helsinki is fairly established now. Yeah. So I'd say that the, the ones that will probably be more most emerging would be Poland and, and maybe Estonia. Okay. <laughs> Good to know for sure. Uh, we talked a little bit about sustainability, right? And you know, JSA's initiative here, uh, Greener Data, Volume Two. We just launched the book. Uh, tell us a little bit more about data. Your, your solutions and how they uh, achieve great greener facilities. Yes, well, we do, we do several things around reducing the carbon footprint of data centers to do with the infrastructure of the data center. We, we're very passionate about immersion cooling. Okay. And we've been working with Green Revolution Cooling for five years, but it's had a very slow adoption rate, unfortunately, despite the compelling reasons why you should use immersion cooling. Um, sadly, we're in a very risk-averse industry. And so it's not been adopted as quickly as it should have been. Um, the other thing we're doing is uh, battery storage in the UK and in Ireland. And that, again, is to reduce the carbon footprint of data centers, to run them at a time when electricity is very high carbon intensity, and then to recharge the batteries in the middle of the night. So, again, that's something we've been working on for three or four years. And it, it's slow to get gather momentum because... <laughs> because of, of people's worry, any new technology, data center managers, they get concerned about it and they worry that it's going to affect their operations. So we, we're always battling against that because they're very conservative bunch of people, the, uh, the IT directors and the, and, the, and the facilities managers, for good reason, because if it goes wrong, they can lose yes. their job. <laughs> right. I mean, understandably, but we definitely need to work together to achieve greener data. Absolutely, yeah, yes, absolutely. Whole. So we, we are fighting for that all the yeah. time. Yeah. But I think Nordics is where I like to be the best. You know, we, we sell land with power in the Nordics now as well. And, and uh, that's another part of the, the services that we offer. We try and find sites that are well with power, with green power, of course. Green power, uh, yeah. In the Nordics, that's another aspect of our business that's been developing quite quickly. Is there anything else that you wanted to add today? Well, we might be doing some work in uh, Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Okay, we just had a, 
Aaliyah on, uh, yeah, they're one of the leaders there in that okay. region. So Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah so we're looking for land and power in, uh, around Sao Paulo and in Brazil because I think that's going to be an emerging market for us as well. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for joining us today on another episode of JSA TV live from Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. And to our viewers, thank you for joining us today. Stay curious. Stay connected and happy networking.